Think of a chord progression as a journey from one chord to another. In a popular chord progression such as G major, E minor, C, and D, G is the tonic chord or chord one. E minor is a subdominant chord built on the sixth scale degree. C major is another subdominant chord built on the fourth scale degree. And D is a dominant chord built on the fifth scale degree. Now one of the strongest, most important moments in this journey is the five one, which occurs when the chord five, D, leads back to the chord one, G major, also known as a perfect cadence. But what if we want to make a pit stop at a different chord before going to the following main chord? Listen to this. So I played G major, followed by a B seventh chord, and then E minor. Now these examples sound more appealing because I'm using a secondary dominant chord. These are chords used to create a stronger sense of movement and direction in a chord progression. We talked about D major going to G major as a perfect cadence. Five going to one. Now here's the same thing. B7 going to E minor. We use the B7 as the chord five that leads back to the tonic chord E minor. So we have created a passing or temporary or secondary 5-1 within a chord progression. Now once you have the secondary dominant chord, you can make it even more colorful by adding a secondary subdominant chord or chord two. It's easy to find, go four notes down from that dominant chord, so from the note B, we have A, G, and F sharp. This is our subdominant chord. Let's make the F sharp a minor seven flat five or a half diminished chord, and now we have a beautiful secondary two five one in E minor, so. F sharp minor seven flat five, B seven, and E minor. Let's add a lovely finger picking pattern. So we covered G major going to E minor. Now after the E minor chord, we move to a C major chord. Let's use the same process. C major is our target chord. Let's add a secondary dominant chord by counting five notes from C following the G major scale. C, D, E, F, and G. Now let's make this note G a G7 chord. And from G, we go four notes down, and we have D note D. G, F sharp, E, and D. This is our secondary subdominant chord, or chord two. So now we have D minor seven, G seven, and C major. Let's add a nice picking pattern. So we already went from this to this. How cool is that? Now let's make it fun and creative. Let's pick another chord in the key of G major. I like the A minor chord. This is a chord built on the second scale degree of G major. G, A, this note, 
is a beautiful A minor. Now let's use the same system. A minor becomes our target chord. Let's count five notes from A. A, B, C, D, E. So this E becomes our dominant chord. We can either play an E major or an E7 chord. Now from E, let's move four notes down. E, D, C, and B. This is our secondary subdominant chord or chord two. Now since we are doing a two, five, one in a minor key, this will be a half diminished chord. So B minor seven flat five, followed by an E seven chord. And then finally, an A minor chord. Listen to this beautiful example. Now for the last section, we will only use secondary 2-5 chords without resolving to the tonic chord. This is going to add a lot of movement and color to the chord progression. It sounds like this. So what are we playing here? Well, we are back doing two, five, one in a minor key, in E minor. So we have F sharp minor seven flat five, chord two, B seven, secondary dominant chord, and then finally E minor. However, we can also consider this E minor to be the subdominant chord, so chord two of D major. So we will play E minor as chord two, A seventh as chord five. And from here, we change the A seventh into an A minor chord, which then becomes the subdominant chord of G major. So chord two, A minor seven, followed by chord five, D seventh, and we finally resolve to G major. Of course, let's add a nice arpeggio. When we put the whole thing together, Secondary dominant chords are awesome. They will definitely add more color to your chord progressions. You can get the tab on my Patreon page. However, if you are serious about learning to play the guitar or the ukulele, check our passionformusic.com. We have an incredible daily challenge running every single day. You can learn something new every single day. We also have incredible courses and masterclasses. You can learn a lot of things. So check the description down below if you want to know more about it. Otherwise, just enjoy this lesson and apply this incredible concept to these chords. I'm going to leave you to practice this and I'll see you next time.